Welcome to the Color Toolbar V2 tutorial. Color Toolbar is a free add-on for Studio One 4 and 5 users. It provides two different modes, each designed to make it easier to color all your channel types, tracks, events, and arrange your track sections either manually or with the click of a button. Here's the link to the Color Toolbar website. To download from the website, click Download on the menu. Then click the blue Download button located at the top of the page. Here you'll find step-by-step -step instructions for those updating a previous version to the latest release or first-time users installing to Windows or Mac. After downloading, you need to unzip the file. Then copy and paste the color toolbar.package file into the Studio One Scripts folder. For users that are upgrading, only one version can exist in the Scripts folder, so be sure to delete any previous Color Toolbar or Track Colors version. We've included conversion logic to detect setup files from previous Color Toolbar versions. When detected, it will prompt you to load your names and keywords with the factory default colors or load the factory default colors, names, and keywords. Please note that a backup of your original setup file is created during this time. Color Toolbar provides support for 60 color slots with 48 factory default colors based on the industry standard color wheel. This is in response to user requests for Color Toolbar to support colors based on a standard. By design, the first 48 color slots include 4 shades each of the 12 primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. The remaining 12 color slots, 49 through 60, are reserved for assigning custom colors of your choosing. Also included are six customizable colors for conforming no match, along with bus, effects, VCA, AUGs, and instrument channel types. As stated earlier, Color Toolbar has two modes. First, let's take a look at Dock Mode by clicking here on the Color Toolbar icon. This opens up the toolbar as shown with access to all 60 colors. Located on the far left is the Color Toolbar drop-down menu, which we'll describe later in detail. In the center are the buttons provided for choosing the various ways to color. Let's start by demonstrating the benefit the Color Toolbar provides when using the C or Conform button. Conform is a term we use to provide auto coloring of your channels, tracks, events, and arranger sections with a single click. Ready? Here goes! Okay, I gotta say, that's really cool. Now just think about all the time and effort you'll save by using the toolbar with Studio One. Next, I'll show you how to color an event or arranger section using the E or Events button. Click the E button to enable Events mode. Next, select an event followed by clicking a color. While in this mode, you can also select and color arranger sections. When finished, click the E button again to toggle event mode off. It's that easy. Click the question mark or help button for easy access to the online video tutorials and documentation available in the help section of the Color Toolbar V2 website. The next three buttons allow you to color a group of channels or tracks, followed by clicking any color from the toolbar palette. Click the T or tint button to enable tint mode. Tint adds white to each so the colors get progressively lighter. We suggest choosing darker colors for the best results. Click the S or Shade button to enable Shade Mode. Shade adds black to each so the colors get progressively darker. We suggest choosing lighter colors for the best results. Last but not least, click the G or Gradient button for two color gradient mode. This mode blends incremental amounts of the first selected color with that of the second selected color. The Detach mode is where Color Toolbar version 2 really shines, as it provides direct access to configure everything associated with the Conform process. To do this, we need to click the Detach arrow located at the top right corner to open up the Color Toolbar in Detach mode. This panel is similar to data entry into a database or spreadsheet that's used for storing information. Here's where you define the names you assign to your channels, tracks, and arranger sections, and the colors you want assigned to them. Starting at the top left, I'll walk you through each part of the Detach Mode panel. The menu choices include the following. Save Setup. Saves the current colors, names, keywords, and options settings. 
Export Setup allows you to export the current setup to another location as a backup or to share with others. Load Setup Colors or Names allows you to load a setup file, colors, or names keywords to replace all or certain elements of your current setup. Also included are setup tools. Edit Setup provides access to your setup file for editing with a text editor. Reload Setup allows you to reload your changes when finished. Standard Colors No Names loads a blank setup file that includes the standard default colors but without any names. Reset the default setup resets everything back to the factory default setup. Open Data Folder opens the data folder where your setup file and setting options are stored. The Events, Tint, Shade, Gradient, and Help buttons in Detached Mode work identical to the E, T, S, G, and Question Mark buttons in the Dock Mode. Next you'll find the no match and the ability to create a custom color for conform to use when channel or track names have no match. This makes it easy to identify your non-conforming channels. To the right are channel type options for those that want to color these channel types uniformly with custom colors when their option is checked. For example, you may want to color all your buses red. These channel types include bus, effects, VCA, augs, and instrument. Next you'll find the cut and paste buttons that provide an easy way to move name keywords from one slot to another and also the help button to access help on our website when needed. In this example I'll move the A.Acoustics name and keywords in color slot 14 to color slot 49 which is one of the custom color slots. First I'll click the A.Acoustics name assigned to color slot 14 followed by clicking the cut button. Next, I'll click on the name field for slot 49. Then I'll click the paste button for the move to take place. The color toolbar factory defaults include 48 colors from the industry standard color wheel, along with many of the common instrument and device names used in the music industry. We encourage you to start by using what's included until you become familiar with how everything works. The color dialog section located at the bottom provides an easy way to create your custom colors in slot 49 through 60. Here you can enter RGB values as a hex number, separate R, G, and B numbers, or by using the RGB sliders. The reset button allows you to revert back to the original color if you decide to do so. To get started, let's assign a bright red color to slot number 60. To do this, click the name field for slot 60. Then move the red slider all the way to the right. Please note that you could have typed FF0000 in the hex field or 255 in the R field to get the same results. When you're ready, here's how to assign a name to a color slot. For this example, I'll assign the name example to slot 60 that we just colored bright red. To do this, I click on the name field for slot 60 and type example into the name field located at the top section of the panel and press enter. To test that it's working, I'll click the conform button to see if the channel in my song named example gets the bright red color I've assigned. It conformed correctly just as I expected. Clicking the slot name also allows you to add keywords associated with the name. Each of these can include a word or phrase, but please note the commas are required to separate them. The factory default includes many examples of name keywords to help you understand how they work. Studio One provides an easy way to color your inputs and outputs associated with your unique hardware setup via the I.O. setup window. Please note that hashtags for inputs, outputs, listen, and master can be used for those that want to assign them to a color slot. Included here is a black diagram that illustrates the order of how the matching logic works. Each of the numbers in red represent a step in the conforming process. I'll demonstrate all the matching logic for this using a song that includes these examples. We'll conform the song by clicking the conform button and observe the matching results. Alright, let's start by analyzing the first channel. Channel 1 with the name exclamation skip me is a skip match. Conform will skip coloring any channel or track 
with a name that starts with an exclamation point. Channel 2 with the name 02kick is an ignore number match. Conform will ignore the first word because it's a number and uses the color assigned to color slot 21 that matches the kick keyword match associated with the name d.drums. This works well for users that receive audio files with names that include channel numbers as the first word. Channel 3 with the name v.sammy is a prefix name match. Conform will use the color assigned to color slot 17 that matches the two character v dot prefix. The prefix method uses any color or double character followed by a period or colon. Prefixes work great with a new filter search option in Studio 1.5 to help isolate channels in the mixer. Typing v dot in the search window will display only those channels in the mixer starting with v dot in the name. Another cool feature about prefixes is they ignore the names and keywords. So you can use people's names or even notes in the name, and they will color to the general category of the color slot. Channel 4 with the name Snare Top is a phrase match. Conform will use the color assigned to color slot 21, as the name Snare Top is found in keywords associated with D.Drums. Channel 5 with the name First Violins is a plural phrase match. Conform will use the color assigned to color slot 36 as the name first violin is found in keywords associated with S dot strings. The conform logic checks to see if a match occurs if an S is added to a keyword phrase. The benefit of this feature is that it reduces the number of keywords needed as plural versions are not required. Channel 6 with the name upright bass is a first word phrase match. Conform will use the color assigned to color slot 13, as the name Upright is found in the keywords associated with B.Bass. Channel 7 with the name ACGTR2 is a suffix match. Conform will use the color assigned to color slot 14, as the name ACGTR is found in keywords associated with A.Acoustics. The conform logic checks to see if a name includes a number from 1 through 9 in the last character or word in a phrase. The benefit of this feature is that it reduces the number of duplicate names or keywords that normally would need to be added. Channel 8 with the name Soft Tracks is a soft match, which matches a partial word in the channel to a partial word in the keywords list. Conform will use a color assigned to color slot 48, as the name Tracks is found in keywords associated with backing tracks. This is a last step approach to allow for a match when previous matching type criteria is not met. Since this is not an exact phrase match, it can sometimes result in a false positive. Channel 9 with the name No Match is a No Match. Conform will use the color assigned to No Match when No Match can be found. Channel 10 with the name Drums is a Folder Bus Channel. Conform will use the red color assigned to the bus channel type because this option is checked. If the option was not checked, it would color it blue because of the drums keyword match found in color slot 21. Channels 11 through 14 are effects, VCA, AUGs, and instrument channel types that include a checkbox option just like the bus channel for channel 10. Conform will use the colors assigned to each of them if this option is checked. If the option is not checked, it will color based on normal conform matching logic. Some users may find it easier to manually enter their groups of name keywords for their genre of music. Choosing setup tools in the color toolbar drop down menu followed by edit setup provides easy access for users wanting to edit these with a text based editor. Please note that after editing and saving your changes, you need to run reload setup. This is listed in the Setup Options submenu for loading your changes into the Color Toolbar panel. Help can be found here on the Color Toolbar V2 website. Here you'll find both online and PDF manuals, block diagrams, and training videos. Please note that we also have a Facebook page for those wanting additional support or to connect with other Color Toolbar users. Last but not least is an area for members to upload and download custom setup files. 
This allows users from specific genres to create detailed name lists matching their area of expertise. Again, we highly recommend leaving the first 48 colors of the factory default as is in support of the industry standard color wheel and the remaining 12 color slots for creating custom colors of your choosing. As we covered earlier, names and keywords in the default setup can easily be moved to the color slots you prefer. Using the standard colors along with your custom colors, names, and keywords makes it easier to share your setup file with other color toolbar users. One-click auto-coloring can really help improve your workflow for coloring your channels, tracks, events, and arranger track sections in Studio One 4 and 5. We hope you enjoyed the Color Toolbar V2 tutorial and found it helpful in getting started. Thanks for watching and happy coloring!